This video is brought to you by Morning Brew. Well, hello there, awesome people of the interweb. Let's dig into my weekend tech essentials. When TJIF hits, I usually ditch my backpack and everything else that comes with it and I try to conduct myself as light as I can possibly can. That means in many cases, what you'll see here is either carry it around in my pockets or sometimes in a sling bag from Bellroy. This sling is everything I might require to not fill up my pockets. Thanks to the two mesh slip compartments, I don't have to worry if my tech will scratch or scuff. The sling is made out of recycled water resistant fabric and it even comes with a soft lined sunglasses pouch. This sling might look compact but it has a lot of possibilities to carry stuff including a water bottle thanks to the expandable design. Still, like I said, I like to keep it as light as possible and I've been even thinking to moving to the mini version of this sling for my purposes. The magnetic clasp is probably my favorite part of the sling making it extremely easy to remove. The phone of choice is the iPhone 13 mini in white. And what can I say? This compact phone is everything I could ask for, except for perhaps a, a ProMotion display and a telephoto lens. If you wanna know my thoughts about this device, I'll leave a link in the description below to my 13 mini coverage. And for now, I'll say that I'm delighted with this little phone. The battery life is significantly improved compared to its predecessor, and the size is ideal for any pocket. Some might say that the screen is too small, but honestly 5.4 inches is plenty big for anything. Weekends, for example, are my favorite times to sip a cup of coffee and go over the news from the week on the 13 mini. I never read the news or watch TV, especially during the week, so getting the essentials over the weekend matters most. Morning Brew is the only news email that I'm subscribed to because in just five minutes, I stay up to date while also being entertained without aimlessly browsing social media. Monday through Sunday, I get an email with a stock market recap, a few briefs on the most important business news, and a section with a lifestyle content. The result is the perfect mix of witty, relevant, and informative Wall Street essentials, as well as tech news, which I can go over while sipping a cup of joe. The Morning Brew email is absolutely free, and I'll make sure to leave a link to it first thing in the description below, so you can sign up as well. So back to the iPhone. In many cases, I carry the phone without a case since it is effortless to fidget with and I use it one-handed. But every once in a while, I like to put it in a case for aesthetic purposes. I feel the black leather vibe right now. And for that reason, I've cocooned it in one of my favorite Horwin leather cases by Nomad. This is Nomad's newest line of modern cases with a clever built-in feature that few other cases possess. First of all, the case works great with all Mac safe accessories thanks to the magnet array inside. Second, the case comes with a built-in NFC digital business card, and here's how it works. Nomad has partnered with a service called Popul People, which is essentially a digital business card platform. Once I tap the phone on the bottom corner of the case, the NFC kicks in, and the iPhone reads the tag and pops up a Safari link that leads to my business card account in in my case, I've left the links to my social media accounts, but you can go into more details if you decide to go for a premium membership. So aside from the looks and inspector gadget vibes, this Nomad case adds 360 degree protection against drops up to 10 feet. And as with everything else from the company, it looks better over time. Moving on to AirPods, I'm usually torn between the AirPods Pro and the AirPods 3 when it comes to what I put in my pocket. And recently I've been picking the Pros every time I go out. As I've mentioned in my AirPods guide video, I don't always prefer them because they tend to slip and lose the seal making them sound terrible, but I still like them, especially if I'm to wait for something out and about. I've been using the AirPods Pro without a case for a long time and essentially have ruined them, but Pitaka sent me their latest Aramid fiber cases and now the AirPods look great and no one knows how scratched they are on the inside. This Aramid Fiber Air Pal mini case looks very stylish, pretty much like everything else from Pitaka, and thanks to the built-in magnets, I can even charge it vertically, which is just clutch. Moving on, I still carry my Apple Watch Series 4. I had some interest in upgrading to the Series 7, but after spending three weeks with the latest review unit, the romance kind of ended when it came to the slightly larger screen, and I realized that for now, 
I'll stick with the Series 4. I used to swap many Apple Watch bands in the past, but since I got the Nomad Titanium band, I rarely find interest in something else. This Titanium band is my daily Apple Watch band and I use it for everything. I sleep with it, I work out with it, and I wear it with all types of clothing. And what I love most about it is how clean and minimal it looks. It has been dropped and hit many times and it hasn't once fallen off my wrist and it still looks as good as new. I had to remove another link recently because I lost some weight. So I guess it can be used for weight measurements too. Anyway, I moved away from the Snap-on MagSafe wallets for a bit and went back to the Ridge wallet. A while back, I purchased the aluminum gunmetal version of this wallet because it's small and it is built to last an eternity. It is RFID blocking, which means there's no way someone can accidentally scan my cards. And it looks minimal, even while holding a bunch of cards up to 12 max. This version has a cash strap too. By the way, Ridge has some stunning new colors and models of the Ridge wallet, like this forged amber one, which honestly looks outlandish. I agree with their slogan, minimalist without being limiting. If I happen to use my sling bag, I usually carry an additional battery and this is Hovio Magnetic Power Bank by Unique, which is very quirky. With 5000 mAh battery capacity and 20 watts USB-C PD output, this little device packs a lot in terms of being a power bank, but it gets even more interesting. It is also a 15 watt wireless charger too, which makes it the perfect companion to the iPhone mini. To top it all, I can use it to prop my phone whenever I want to play something for the kids or grab a quick snack somewhere. It is very inconspicuous and by the way, it is incredibly affordable too. I'll make sure to put links for all the items in the description below. Aside from my car key, I carry two other keys for my studios since I hate the sound of rattling keys and the inevitable question in my head, am I scratching something right now? I use the Orbit Key key organizer. Made out of high quality top grain leather, this organizer keeps my keys secure and in place without allowing them to move around freely. Alongside the keys, it also comes with a little multi-tool which I can use to unscrew different gear around me and even open a bottle of beer if I was to drink beer at all. Nevertheless, convenient organization accessory and a definite recommendation. On occasions and in my desperate attempts to improve my Instagram presence, I sometimes carry the Sony ZV-1. This point and shoot camera was actually purchased as an on-the-go 4K camera whenever I want to fill some shot gaps and the iPhone doesn't deliver it, but all jokes aside, I tend to use it a lot more recently. Aside from the excellent Sony 4K quality, the ZV-1 also comes with a built-in ND filter, which is very handy when shooting outside and on the go. My quality should not be neglected either, but keep in mind that the battery is tiny and it overheats. But hey, it's adorable. I am waiting on many items to arrive within the next month, so this EDC will probably last me another few weeks before I switch to something better. So if you are into such content, subscribe and click on the bell icon because why not? If you enjoyed this video, check out my EDC playlist. And as always, it's been an absolute pleasure. This is Z, over and out.